Welcome back, my friends. It is time for you and I to participate in the morning mindset. It's when we get our minds aligned with the truth of God. I'm so thankful you are here. I wanted to remind you, we have a different sort of episode that we publish from time to time called Pray Together Episodes. And those are episodes where we pray together as the episode is playing in your earbuds. And we pray for the needs of Morning Mindset listeners who have submitted their requests. If you have a request you would like to submit, it's very simple to do. You go to the website, carrygreen.com, that's C-A-R-E-Y, green like the color, dot com, slash prayer, and you submit your prayer request. Once we receive that, it takes us a couple of days to process everything and get it ready to record, and then we will publish the Morning Mindset Pray Together episodes. I hope you join us for those, and I hope as you see those pop up in your podcast player, you pray along with me for the requests that have been submitted. And all that means is you just agree with me to the Lord about what's being said. You ask him to do what we are praying that he will do. All right, let's move on. We are looking at just some random selections from the book of 2 Corinthians right now. And there are passages in the Bible that my soul seems to be drawn back to again and again. And that's partly because I have found them to be so helpful. But it's also because their truth is just so significant. I need to be reminded of it again. And we're going to look at one of those passages today. It's a passage that speaks to our identity as believers in Jesus Christ. Now think about that word identity for a moment. I wonder what comes to your mind when you think of that word. You may think of uh, an ID that's in your wallet, you know, a driver's license or some sort of uh, passport or something like that. That is a symbol of your identification. But it really is much deeper than that, isn't it? You may think immediately of your name as kind of a symbol of your identification of who you are. You see, our identity is the essence of who we are. It's the unique things that make us, us. And Paul is going to speak to us here in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17, about our identity as believers in Jesus Christ. And this is something that is true of all of us. And Jesus will manifest in unique ways according to our own personalities, according to the way he has fashioned and created us as a unique individual. And so let's read the passage and then we'll talk about it a bit. Second Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. So let's stop there because there is plenty for us to digest in this short episode. If anyone is in Christ, now let's make sure we understand what that phrase means first of all. To be in Christ is really something that happens to us and happens for us when we place our faith in Jesus Christ. You see, somehow on a spiritual level, God the Father takes us as individuals and places us into his son at the moment we place our faith in him. Now, you can really benefit from visualizing this, imagining yourself being placed into a container of some sort. And that container represents Jesus Christ. Very literally, you are being placed into him. Now, that's a physical manifestation or demonstration of what it means to be in something. But this is a spiritual truth. There's something about our spirit that is placed into Christ. And therefore, we are identified with him. You see, there's that word again, identity. Our identity becomes wrapped up in his And he says, we're placed into Christ. We become a new creation. It's a transformative thing. The old is gone and the new 
has come. My friends, I know we get saddled by the old all the time, by our past, by the things we've done, the the regrets we have. But Paul is telling us here, we are new creations. Jesus, teach us how to be the new creation that you've made us to be by virtue of our identification with you. Thank you for placing us into yourself. We pray that today we can live out of the joy and the happiness and the victory of being a new creation in Jesus Christ.